Hi. Welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Yeah, I'm doing insanity. Start of the year. You already know that. Um, so second week into the max. No easier than the first week. <laughs> it was, yeah, I thought I would improve, but um, it was an interesting thing that my lovely wife Hillary brought up to me the other day. Because um, the max workouts are an hour long. They are longer than the first round. First round, uh, first month of insanity, they're about 45 minutes, roughly. Um, Summer, a little bit less, maybe 38 minute mark. So. Uh, I begin with the, uh, the max workouts, and they hover right around the 59, you know, 55 minute mark. And uh, I'm huffing and puffing yesterday, and I do part of the workout, and I'd stop, and I'd go get a drink, and then I might check, check an email or something like that, and come back and, and finish it. And Hillary goes and says, now that's a good way to turn a one hour workout into a two hour workout. <laughs> that hit home with me. I was like, you're right. It's not an hour workout anymore. It's two. And so I uh, began to think about that. Now, I know this is a cardio workout and the idea is just to keep that heart rate way up there, bring it down for a little bit and then blast it back up. But PT's mind sometimes, just some days are just like, oh my gosh. I, so I, my, my brain pray, plays tricks on me and I, I end up, uh, oh, giving the little, oh, I'm still pushing play and I go around, but I, you know, I've, I've become a fan of this button right here on my remote, little pause button, go get a drink of water, whatever it is. But uh, as I begin to think about it, now today's workout, I use the pause button to my advantage. Um, uh, while I'm last week, or you know, even the past couple of days, it was more of a getting myself off the hook type of uh, type of thing. I'm still doing the workouts, but making them two hours long. Today's pause pushing um, was where I got through to. A, I, I wanted to complete the entire workout, the entire session. I know my I was kind of reaching a threshold there. And I know the idea is to just rest it out and join when you can. Um, but what I committed to myself with this, with this particular program was to go in, or this round, is to go in and really work on form and what's best for me as opposed to the last time I, you know, a couple summers ago when I tried this and I tried to keep up with them and then I tweaked this and hurt this and injured myself and I was just a little bit all over the place. So. What I want to do is I want to commit to finishing each workout. So uh, today's, today's deal is the pause button. When I got to, for instance, these level three drills where you do 16 push-ups and then you run it out for about 32, I got halfway through and I could have just rested it out and caught up with the crew then, hit the pause button, just gave myself that little five, 10 second breather, recovered, bam, back at it and still did all of the workout routine. Maybe there was a heart rate change in there, but really I'm not doing this program necessarily to uh, boost up my endurance. Um, you know, I'm not going to be running marathons anytime soon. I love the health benefits of being able to, you know, get through a workout like this. Um, but it was just an interesting perspective on how the, how the pause button can be your friend. You know, uh, even in, uh, in, uh, in P90X, you know, Tony will say, you know, you're maxing out, you're whatever, just hit the pause button and, you know, come back when you're ready. I think that's very, very smart. Um, you know, while, yeah, the past couple of days it was more of a little uh, give myself uh, off, off the hook type of thing uh, with the pause button. Pause, pause button can be an effective tool when, you, when you've just really maxed out, but you want to get the whole benefit and not, you know, let the next exercise can go on and you know the tape tape play, keep playing and you don't you know complete the workout at all so that was just a, just a little idea i hope that made sense to you did in my head anyway so anyway 
still week two in this in this last month of uh of insanity not going too bad uh still still keeping the weight off uh and and, and leaning out pretty well have uh you know, changed changed up the the eating a little bit and uh bringing up a little bit on the, the higher protein uh type of uh, side of things for this uh this next month but uh still making sure my carb intake is good to pound through and have the energy to get through these so anyway that's all i have for this week remember it's never too late we'll see you next week <laughs>